All right, it happened again. Another ATM smash and grab. This time it happened twice within an hour. In one of those attacks, the thieves were able to take the machine with them. WMAR 2 News' Brittany Verner tells us ATM owners say, hey, they're fed up with this. They're hoping for some change that brings a solution and fast. Wednesday morning, there were two ATM theft attempts, one in the county and in the city. I'm standing at the location where it happened in the city, and this one thieves actually got away with the ATM machine and an undisclosed amount of cash. Along Lock Raven Boulevard, police in both the city and county had their hands full Wednesday morning after crooks tried to steal two ATM machines less than four miles from each other. The first attempt happened at a gas station around 3.30 near Lock Raven and Goucher Boulevard. The second incident happened around 4.30 at a gas station near Lock Raven Boulevard and Havenwood Road. In that one, they were successful with stealing the machine. We never recoup the full amount lost. You not only lose the ATM, you lose the money inside and uh, other ramifications of the incident in and of itself. Amy Blank is part owner of a private ATM company. She believes the penalties for these type of crimes needs to be increased. I understand that when someone, if someone was to steal an ATM from a bank, it's a federal crime. Correct. But if they steal it from a private owned ATM, it's right. the same? Not at all. So we're seeking legislation to make uh, a bank robbery and an ATM theft carry the same penalties and allow federal, state and local um, enforcement agencies to collaborate with one another to investigate and prosecute these crimes. Police say they recovered the van used for the ATM theft in the city about six miles from that gas station. It was stolen. Another private ATM owner told me off camera this week he's had three of his machines almost stolen. Now those ATM owners are calling on the city leaders to help find a solution to put an end to these crimes. So not only are there less and less ATMs around because of the theft, right, but people can't access cash when they need to. We're in the middle of the holiday season. These families can't get access to cash. Although both of these incidents happen an hour apart from each other, it's unclear right now if they were related, but police are still looking for the people responsible and they plan to hold them accountable. Reporting in Baltimore, Brittany Verner, WMAR 2 News.